part three. And so I'm sorry if I sound off today, guys. Today is probably like a hard day for me. Um, so if I don't sound like myself, I apologize. But out of all days, this day, this is one of the days is, is this is hard because it's a particular day today. I mean, I'm just a mixture of emotions. And so, part three. And so, I'm just being completely real. Completely real. Because I want to do my best to be the example that the Lord wants me to be. I want others to see Christ in me. I want others to see something different about me. And so I'm just putting out there what the Lord is really putting on my heart to share. And I hope that this is encouraging somebody. I don't know if you guys watched my testimony. Because I think I posted it on here on TikTok if you guys haven't seen it. Um... But we all make mistakes. We're not perfect. But we can always run into the arms of the Father and we don't have to go after these things just because other people are doing it. And we don't have to go after these things just because you desperately want to keep that person or you are desperately wanting to make something work. But at the end of the day, what's meant for you is meant for you. Sometimes God has to pull you away from something in order to work on both people in order to bring them back together. That could be a word for someone. And sometimes he has to pull you out of something in order to work on your you. And so... It's not easy, especially, like, you go through different seasons in life. I've gone through a lot in my life. I have yet more to go through. But at the end of the day, it's so important we are keeping our eyes on him. We aren't looking to the world to complete us. We are not looking to the worldly things to complete us. We're not trying to... Go out and date people that would not like that God wouldn't approve of. Um, that perhaps God doesn't want you to be with because that's not the person that He has for you. And perhaps the Lord has already revealed to you who this person is. And so I think you just need to be really careful and be very mindful on definitely what the Lord has already revealed to you and what the Lord has already spoken to you and spoken over you and just remember what God has said to you because it's nothing but the truth and God always keeps his promises he never breaks his word he he always comes through when he like he he will come right on time and you may not think it's right on time because maybe you Maybe you think that it's it should happen now, but Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. I'm gonna pull that up. I believe I know the scripture, but because Jeremiah twenty nine eleven says, "For I know the plans that I have for you," saith the Lord, "plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you future and hope." But my version might be a little bit different. Um, this might be different. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and hope. 
yeah, mine's a little bit different. But hopefully that stays. But anyways, I know that topic's not easy for me to talk about still. Um, but at the end of the day, I definitely want to set a good example. And I think the Lord's really putting that topic on my heart for some reason. I don't know why he put that topic on my heart. But I think it's a word for someone who needs to hear it. And I apologize if there's little ones watching this. I'm not trying to, you know, set the wrong example. I'm trying to set the right example. But the Lord really put that on my heart for somebody who needed to hear that. And who needed that reassurance, that, not reassurance, but that reminder that he's not going to, he's not going to c condemn you just because you did that. He does forgive. But just knowing that maybe we do it allow God to change our perspective and our mindset on things because it may it may be a negative mindset. It may be not a so good perspective. Maybe the perspective is worldly. Maybe the your mindset you have is worldly when it comes to that topic or in maybe anything any other topic. But but just know. Just know that God will forgive you and he does forgive you for what you've done. But allow God to come in and change your perspective on the inside. And so in my testimony, I shared how I tried fitting in, how I tried fitting in. And I tried doing the things of this world. I tried doing different things. I tried because I used to be so desperate. I used to be a person that was so, so desperate to be wanted and loved and to just be noticed. And and I was so desperate to date. I was so desperate because I wanted to find that person. But at the end of the day, I was not, didn't, I was not dating at the time for the right intentions because I was doing it at the time to fit in. But truly, I really learned a lot. And this time, whenever I do, you know, step into another relationship, it's going to be the person that he has for me. I'm just waiting on his timing. And, you know... I know it's going to be all right because at the end of the day, he knows what's best for me. And if the door is permanently closed, I can't keep opening it back up. Because that's something that I struggled with before and I may be still struggling with that. And I think we just need to really trust in him and, and trust that if he closes the door, it's for a reason. Now, if he closes it to work on you and then opens it back up, that's another thing. But what, 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 any door that God opens, no man can shut. And so whatever is meant for you is meant for you. And so I might be making a part four. Is there more you want me to say, Lord? Yeah, there's more. So I'll probably make a part four today, but just know you don't have to keep going about living in this world. You don't have to keep going about living these sin cycles. You don't have to keep going about, you know, thinking that something's okay. You can allow God to change your perspective on it and your mindset on it. He will help you. And you know, we all need healing and deliverance. So maybe that's something you really pray about is for God to heal you and deliver you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make a part four 